are now operating the hydraulic power unit for the Williams number 648 by 76 Ropeshire Shredder. Hydraulic fluid is being supplied by this pumping unit through these pressure hoses to the hydraulic drive motors. Torque is being transmitted through steel flex couplings to the shredder gearbox. Located on each side of the gearbox is a solid state proximity sensor which take note of shaft rotation. Should a jam occur three times in sequence, a automatic tramp rejection sequence will be initiated. Upon that sequence, this door will automatically open, as you see now. The shredder shafts then rotate towards the opening in an effort to eject the uncrushable item. The door then returns to its closed position and the shredder will revert to its normal operating mode. The shredder is now once again operating in a normal fashion. We are looking down into the top of the infeed hopper located over the Williams 600 horsepower Ripshear shredder. Shown are the independently driven counter-rotating shredder shafts. We will now demonstrate the self-cleaning abilities of the patented machine. To do this, an uncrushable chunk of metal has been dropped into the hopper so as to cause a jam. After three consecutive jams, or shaft stoppage, the side door of the infeed hopper automatically will open. Both shafts next will operate towards the door, thus operating as a conveyor to reject the uncrushable out of the system. timed interval, the shafts stop, and the side door closes. After closing, the normal operation will again begin in that the shafts will counter-rotate towards each other, causing a shearing and shredding to take place. Now watch as the Williams 600 horsepower rip shear processes a variety of bulky waste materials.
This is the hydraulic power pack and gearbox of the Ripshear Shredder. Note the heavy duty construction. Forged gears are carried by oversized shafts which ride in double row self-aligning roller bearings. The bearings are mounted in heavy plate and are mounted on both sides of the gears to prevent gear separating loads from being transferred to any other components. The hydraulic drive motors are isolated from any shredder shock by flexible couplings. This is the hydraulic power unit for the Williams number 600 size 48 by 76 Ripshire shredder. Located here is the central hydraulic reservoir. Hydraulic fluid is fed by flooded suction to these twin positive displacement pumps on each side of the power unit. Each pump is driven through a fault coupling and powered by an 1800 RPM, 150 horsepower electric motor. Fluid is pressurized by the pump and fed through this pressure line through a high pressure filter with a gauge to the relief valve which controls the maximum pressure of the power unit. Fluid then passes through the relief valve to the main spool valve located here and is then channeled to the twin KYB 525 inch hydraulic motors. Shredder torque is transmitted through steel flex couplings to the shredder gearbox. Located on each side of the shredder gearbox is a solid state proximity sensor that takes note of shaft rotation. Should a shaft stoppage occur, a signal is fed to the Williams computerized control panel to initiate a reversing function. Fluid is then returned from the return line back through the low pressure hose to the hydraulic reservoir through another filter. For cooling, there is a separate circulating pump driven by a small electric motor that circulates the hot coolant through a heat exchanger that will be mounted here in the field, which is a water tall unit to cool the hydraulic fluid. It will then come from the heat exchanger back to the tank. We're going to now examine some of the product that we shredded today during our lab tests. Here's some heavy sheet metal sections. Also some eight by eights and four by fours. Here's a large over the road truck tire, steel belted. and some of the finer wood product. 